These scenes made us drop our old fashions and forget about our smokes. Just watch the movie. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 insane Mad Men moments. Hare oh, Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna. Oh. For this list, we are looking at those crazy moments from the TV drama that seemingly came out of nowhere and left us shocked and bewildered. Why would he say anything? Because he was caught with chewing gum on his pubis! <laughs> <laughs> If there's a moment or scene you think should be on here, be sure to check out our other list of the top 10 Mad Men scenes. You drive a hell of a bargain. Number 10, Lane Price fights Pete Campbell. I know cooler heads should prevail, but am I the only one who wants to see this? Everyone knows a person, usually a coworker or boss, that you would just love to punch in the face. Let's go. For Lane Price, and for most people on the show, that person was Pete Campbell. Everyone in this office has wanted to do that to Pete Campbell. After putting up with Pete's arrogance long enough, Lane challenges him to a fight, while Don, Roger, and Bert watch with a mixture of surprise and curiosity. Oh, this is medieval. Both men get some solid shots in, but Lane takes this round with a beautiful one-two combo that puts Pete on his back. <laughs> Number nine, Don resolves a dispute with Bobby Barrett. You look great. Don Draper is a man who gets what he wants, and he's willing to do whatever it takes to do so. I'm gonna be brief, because I don't like leaving him alone out there. While negotiating with Bobby Barrett over the terms of her husband's apology, Don grows frustrated with her increasing demands. I think an apology, and a public one like this one, has to be worth $25,000. And I want it in the paper. He pushes her up against the table and guides his hand up her dress. <gasps> Believe me, I will ruin him. He then wipes his fingers on the dress and walks away as if nothing's ever happened. Number eight, Lane Price commits suicide. Lane Price was a complicated character filled with personal demons, and this became more apparent throughout the course of the series. You embezzled funds and you forged my signature. I apologize deeply for involving you. Stuck in serious financial debt, Lane forges Don's signature on a business check. When Don finds out, he immediately fires Lane by demanding his resignation. Uh, 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 just a moment. I'm sorry, and I am remorseful. Left with no other options, Lane tries to commit suicide by gassing himself, only to fail because the Jaguar doesn't start. <laughs> He eventually hangs himself in his office, and it's a tragic end to a conflicted character. Get something to calm down. Number seven, oyster lunch and aftermath. I can make more coffee. Some say that revenge is a dish best served cold. For Don Draper, it's a dish best served with oysters and martinis. You're throwing yourself at him, giggling at his stories. After Roger hits on Betty, Don retaliates by taking his friend out to a business lunch, where the pair devour oysters and down martinis. I think I woke my ulcer up. Little does Roger know, however, that Don has arranged for the elevator to be out of service, forcing them to take the stairs. And of course, uh, my partner, Roger Sterling. Uh... After much difficulty, Roger eventually makes it to their office, where he promptly loses his lunch in front of everyone. Advantage? Raper. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. Number six, Roger Sterling's LSD trip. I told you we're going to take LSD with them. You were supposed to clear your schedule. LSD? Really? Ah, the 60s. Roger Sterling attends a social gathering with his wife Jane, where he takes LSD for the first time. You always say I never take you anywhere. He hears music from a liquor bottle and his cigarette. <laughs> imagines himself with a split of silver and black hair, and has an out-of-body experience as he watches himself dance with Jane. Crying. Still, he never loses that classic Roger demeanor, mocking the doctor's product and the excitement of the party. Well, Dr. Leary, I find your product boring. Number five, Ken gets his eye shot out. Whatever you fellas want. Poor Ken Cosgrove. Stuck working in Michigan on the Chevy account, Ken is having an incredibly difficult time dealing with the rambunctious car manufacturer's executives. You see that tree over there? 
Pretend it's Ralph Nader and let's go get a drink. He is eventually pushed over the edge when he is accidentally shot in the side of the face by one of them while hunting. Wait! Oh shit. This scene is classic Mad Men. It comes out of nowhere, we were not expecting it, and we have no idea how to react. What happened? Luckily, Ken survives, but decides to surrender the account to Pete Campbell. I'd laugh, but it hurts like a son of a bitch. For obvious reasons, Ken is withdrawing from handling Chevy. You sure you want to do this? I'm positive. Number four, Ginsburg cuts off his nipple. Open it. Born in a concentration camp during World War II, there always seemed to be something just a little off with Michael Ginsburg. The main door was open and you didn't check the peephole? It's a bad neighborhood. His psychological problems become fully evident in this episode, as he becomes more and more paranoid about the new office computer. That machine came for us, and one by one... He eventually cuts off his own nipple and gives it to Peggy in a box. Realized it was the waves of data. They were filling me up. I had to find the release. Perhaps he was just channeling his inner Vincent van Gogh. <laughs> what is that? It's my nipple. It's the valve. Number three, strangulation dream. Hey, Andrea, this is my wife, Megan. Megan, this is Andrea. Trying to establish a new and honest relationship with Megan, Mad Men fans wondered what would happen if Dawn came across an old flame. We're alone. I just want it fast. This scene gave us the answer, sort of. I know she's coming home. I'll be gone, I promise. Stuck in bed because of a high fever, Dawn is seduced by Andrea, one of his many former lovers. After sleeping with her, she declares that Dawn is incapable of changing. You loved it, and you'll love it again, because you are a sick, sick. <laughs> Agitated, he strangles her to death and hides her body under the bed. Dawn eventually wakes up, however, and viewers realized that it was only just a dream. Number two, Betty shoots her neighbor's pigeons. They're pigeons. Everyone deals with stress differently. For Betty, this means shooting her neighbor's prized pigeons. From your Giving up her model career for a second time and frustrated with the staleness of her domestic life, Betty turns her anger on her neighbor, who had made a threatening comment to her daughter Sally earlier in the episode. If I see that dog in my yard again, I'm gonna shoot it. Loading a BB gun and lighting a cigarette, she opens fire on the pigeons. You are my special angel through eternity. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Because my son is my sunshine. <coughs> Get him out of here. Hello. Good night. doing? Nothing. I know something could happen to me, but I feel safe because I know you're mine. Gun. Stop. Number one, the lawnmower incident. It's done. John Deere is done. Mad Men is a show with a deliberate pace that focuses on character and plot development over action. Look at him, he just brought in a mastodon. Once in a while, however, they put in a scene that leaves you absolutely speechless. The lawnmower accident is without a doubt the most insane scene in the entire series. Hey, put that back, I'm going home. In a freak accident, office secretary Lois Sadler runs over a young executive's foot, spraying blood all over the place and sending the office and viewers into hysterics. The scene inspires classic lines by both Roger and Joan. One minute you're on top of the world, 
Next minute, some secretary is running you over with lawnmower. <laughs> and is truly one of the show's most memorable moments. He might lose his foot. Right when he got it in the door. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? <clears throat> What's your favorite insane moment from Mad Men? You're my king. Okay. For more wild top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com. You know who had a ridiculous dream and people laughed at him? You?